Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Call Dave Guinness. My name is Nate Guinness. I make lots of mountain bike and race videos. And today we are racing arguably the most popular race in Utah with over 700 racers. Today in sunny St. George, we are racing the True Grit Epic. Okay, I'm gonna break this course down into six sections. So because of all the rain, there was actually a course reroute. So the first section is on the road. The next section is wet technical. This section has some pretty steep climbs and then some wet rocky descents. After that, it's zen, with some of the hardest climbs in Utah, but overall a fantastic loop. Next is fast flow. These sections are super fast and it's pretty important to draft. If you did all that, next up is hang on. This goes back to a very rocky technical section and you simply gotta do your best to keep the pace up. And for the last section is the finish. You go through a couple of neighborhood roads working your way back to the town hall, which is the start and finish point. I end up in a sprint finish at the very end, so make sure to stick around to watch that. Okay, let's get into it. So because the course director had to make a bunch of decisions, I was super confused about time because I was hearing that the race was postponed a whole hour and then a bunch of people were lining up and then we actually started earlier than I thought. So I forgot to loop my chain and that will kind of come back to bite me, but luckily I figured it out. So because I was late, I ended up towards the back of the pack and I had definitely had some work to do to catch up to the front group. So let's get into the don't crash section. This crash right here was a friend of mine and unfortunately his race was over after this crash. There were a ton of people I knew in this front group so when I could I was talking with them. The pace was super hot and the group ended up taking a wrong turn which ended in craziness. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Luckily, I was on the left side and able to hop down this hill and get good positioning. Next up is wet technical. At this point, everything was wet and the rain was a little on and off. We are in no rush. Letting some guys pass. We'll see if it'll be the smart move or he'll just put me too far back. Yeah, Aiden! Yeah, Brenton! This section was super up and down in elevation, but the downhill was sweet. Don't go OTB. Oh. Nice and slow. No slipping, no sliding. Well, just a little bit, but. This race is sick. I just wish I was feeling like on top of my game. So like I said there, I'm definitely not 100%. During this race, I'm still getting over sickness and I just kind of shifted my focus on getting good footage and having fun compared to going for a result. Because I had forgot to loop my chain, I called my dad and we got it worked out so that before Zen in the feed zone, I could get my chain lubed. Hey, Dad. Okay. I'm yeah. Go get it right now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. 
Ew. Oh, yeah. Did you say yes or not yet? Yes. Dude, how you doing, bud? Yeah, good. Dude, mom has bottles. After some sweet downhill, my support crew was waiting for me at the feed zone. After a quick loop, I was off to some gnarly technical climbs. Ah, oh, frick. No dab challenge. This is Envy's no dab challenge. I could have really tried to clear it, but I was fatigued at this point and wanted to conserve energy for the rest of the race, so I just chose to walk it. <laughs> I'll pass. Thank you, though. Yeah, well, it's always yeah. here. Yeah. After some crazy climbs, you get to the top, you get some amazing views and a fantastic descent. Phew. It's kind of funny right here because these dudes would drop me on the uphill because I wasn't feeling amazing, but then I would just catch back up on the descent. Fast flow. This section starts with a sweet part called the fingers. There are a bunch of ridge lines you can go down, so I just chose to go down the middle one. This part of the course is super fast and flowy. I was really struggling right here, but luckily I ran into a really good friend of mine, and he helped me keep the pace up and even took the win for me for a little bit. At some point, my race plate had ripped off on one side, so it was flapping in the wind, and I just decided to tear it off and put it in my back pocket. But right here, it flew out, and I had to go run and grab it. Right here is probably my favorite part of the course for the day. Without pedaling much, you can get a ton of speed. Almost to the 30 mile mark. Not for the GoPro. Hang on, this section is kind of brutal. Lost my phone right there at one of the eye cups. You drop down in this goalie and then there's this super steep climb out of it. I had been sticking with my friend Dave, but unfortunately he was too fast for me at this point. So the rest of the course I was on my own. Although the suffering at this point was not super fun, at least there were some sections that made it worth it. The finish. I had been cramping a good amount towards the end of the race, but I would kind of relax my legs on the downhill and stretch them out on the bike the best I could, and it definitely helped for the time being. But going into the finish section, I saw someone catching me, and I kept looking back, and they kept getting closer and closer. Although I was super slow at this point, I was pushing as hard as I possibly could and making some noises I usually don't make. That's right. That's right. I had gotten caught. I was so destroyed and the last thing I possibly wanted to do right now was being a sprint finish. I knew I had to play this smart if I wanted to win this because I was in critical condition. He took to the front and after a second I realized this is exactly where I need to be. He's basically my lead out and is taking all the win for me. When the moment was right and we were getting super close to the finish, I launched my attack and hoped for the best. Yeah. 
I'm grateful for my loving support crew who helped me out tremendously and made this race possible. Luckily I was able to pull that one off. Now it's time to rest up and prepare for Moab Rocks starting on March 25th. See you then. Lay down, give me to your bike. Crampy cramp. Oh, you're doing that too. He's cramped up. Yeah. Look at you saw it? Look at it. Don't look like you're in pain. <laughs> <laughs>